I am a little concerned about Gunn's track record, man. Um, I was looking really at a lot of those, some of those older tweets and shit. Yeah. Really looking at him recently, I'm like, man, this shit is some wild, dark shit. You know what I'm saying? You still ain't deleted him, huh? I still ain't deleted him, man. It's just like my R. Kelly track, you know, you know, my R. Kelly tracks, man. You know, it's like, damn, you know, it's fucked up. But, you know, I still love Kells. <laughs> you are the villain. <laughs> That's my. That's why I asked the ten year question. Will this stuff even matter in ten years? I really hope so, but I got this weird feel, feeling and suspicion that if Marvel somehow falls off, I think DC inherently falls off too with the main crowd. I know that's a super hot take, and I'm pretty sure the internet's not going to agree with the hell I'm talking about. But that's just the way I see it. If something in real life goes down and people are just, you know what, I'm tired of comics. This plan can go by the wayside. But again, what he's doing is really ambiguous. Me being who I am, I'm going to check for all of it. Probably, to, um, I'm probably most looking forward to that Superman first for some reason. But uh, well, I guess there is no but. So I guess I'm just in a wait and see attitude. I think they got the right guy to do it, and I think they got a real ambiguous plan. I just hope it's able to see itself through. I'm excited about that lanterns. You said uh, you said True Detective style. Yeah. I mean, these guys got oh a weapon on their hand that can essentially crack the planet in half. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm interested to see what they'll be investigating because they're going to be on Earth. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that it's going to tie into a larger narrative, along with even Swamp Thing, even though it's going to be tonally different, it's still going to wrap back around into the larger narrative. So I'm just happy to have some kind of direction, man. You know, I, I'm excited. When I, when I think about that, when he when he's talking about this bigger, larger thing, and we already know, we often talk about it on this show all the time. DC is filled with gods and, and just world breakers. So I'm I'm kind of curious as to looking at the chart of DC villains, like who who could possibly be the one the villain that ties everybody in together. Um, well, I mean, if you really think it on those levels, who do you got? I mean, uh, was it Brainiac? I mean, he's pretty. He's a pretty crazy threat i think he could be beat by a couple people though um, i just hope it's different i i just hope it's not dark side again yeah i was just about to say dark side is probably what, what do they call them omega level threats or something i um, forget what it is yeah um i think the key will be waller um i'm glad to see her actually get her own series to actually delve into her and then uh, expound upon her character but i don't think you think it's gonna be terrestrial I don't think it's gonna be terrestrial. I don't think Gunn is gonna do the Marvel thing where oh. it doesn't look like it's building up to a big bat from the actual series he's having. It looks like he's trying to weave them all together and connect them a different way than what Marvel does, which would be pretty smart business because you don't want to be Marvel 2.0, oh. especially doing something two, uh, 10 years. I'll so he didn't, he didn't mention a big bat. We haven't seen a big bad overarching thing. I think it's just we might be seeing somebody just pulling the strings of everything. I appreciate where they're trying to actually delve into characters other than the big three for the most part mm-hmm. because Batman is always money. Wonder Woman, Sans, the last two terrible movies is money. And of course, Superman is the biggest Cash Cow in um, comics. Um, no, actually, Batman is. Batman, that guy. That's why, that's why he didn't even touch the Batman. He's like, hey, that's well, he's over there. <laughs> let me rephrase it. <clears throat> Superman is the biggest Cash Cow superhero. You know what I mean? Because Batman is the evil villain. Um, so, <laughs> but it's, uh, you look at the lineup, it's low key, is it's characters. That I have no idea, never heard of, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Like the Creature Commandos. Um, it was a couple more. It was um, the Authority. And um, I've been, I've, I've uh, uh, some YouTubers are saying that the Authority are going to be the big, the, the big baddies because you got Apollo, who's basically a Superman riff, 
Then you got Midnighter, who's basically a Batman riff. And uh, these guys, y- y'all saw um, Superman versus the Elite, the animated series, right? Yeah. yeah. But the, uh, the Elite were just riffs of the authority before DC got the pro- you know got that property. So mm-hmm. basically um they're saying that you know the elite or the authority are going to be the big bads. I- I'm not sure about that, but I mean they got some of the same powers and abilities as, you know, Superman and skill sets as Batman. Now, now, if you listen to back to what Gun uh, Gun was just saying, he said when it comes to that authority project, these are a group of guys that feel things should be run this way. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You're not gonna like, stop. Just like the Justice Lords on the yeah. um, Justice League Unlimited series. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're talking now, about now, here, now here's my thing though. There has to be a big bad. There's no way you can do this thing without a big bad, bro. I mean, thinking about all the people, the heavy hitters he's tying together. The Green Lanterns, Will, you just said it yourself. They don't really need a lot of help. So if this is some kind of true true detective thing, and I really liked how they're taking the the non-traditional comic route and doing something different. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're not space cops, but they kind of are. They're kind of like sheriffs. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. you, you give me some kind of deep, detailed story, I can rock with that. So, But if the Green Lanterns can't solve it, it's really got to be a threat, right? That's what I would think. Yeah. Like, you can't yeah. be, you know cat stuck in a tree type shit if we're if we're involved in the green lantern core you got two of them yeah yeah two of them and from what it sounds like it sounds like they discover something and go "Uh oh we might have to tell somebody Mm -hmm. so they're going "Uh uh-oh then there's got to be something there's got to be something it's gonna be major it's gonna be major and and see you know he's not gonna come out and give us the entire storyline of what he's trying to do you're not gonna tell us exactly who the who the big bad is I know it's, it's I know it's gonna be bigger than Waller, um, and I, I'm just hoping it's not gonna be Dark Side again. I feel like it's gonna be Tears. Uh, it's gonna be like an anime show, uh, you know, a Shogun anime or a Shonen anime, where you think it's this one guy, then no, it's not. Then it's the next guy. Nope, it wasn't. All along, it was this one dude, you know, mm-hmm. space alien or something that can destroy. That would Earth. be kind of dope if it's like the light or something. It's gonna right have to tie back into like. Uh, you know, the Teen Titans series with uh, Vandal Savage, Joker, you know, uh, Black Manta, you know, Gorilla Grodd, a lot of, like, you know, villains, Lex Luthor. Maybe they're oh, pulling the strings. Doing type shit. Shit. Yeah. It's gotta be. Now, here's the oh. thing. I, if if we're, we're keeping this continuity, and the one thing I will say before I get into that, as I'm excited, I'm very excited for this Flash now because it's officially or unofficially a Flashpoint movie. Because there's no way you, you kind of got to flip the board, the chessboard and say, hey, here's Damian Waynes. We don't know how he got here. Boom. Here he is. You can't just make a brave and a bold movie and never introduce Robin. But, you know, yeah, when you yeah. when you do when you do a Flashpoint movie, you can just reset the battery like oh, mm-hmm. all the timelines different. All that stuff you thought you knew. Throw it out the window. We're doing this now. Now, with that being said, sorry, Fresh, go ahead. I, I hate I hate the handicap. I mean, that crutch. That crutch of time travel, man. That shit whack as hell, man. I I I I let the Marvel universe slide with it because the way they came a- across it, it was ingenious. The Flash is running when he feel like it. Nah, man, that's kind of whack, man. Even though I did, I did like the Flashpoint. I liked the movie, the first one, the Flashpoint uh, joint. I liked it, but then they had that Justice League Dark. Mm-hmm. When uh, they uh, did some foolish shit and uh, do, uh, cross uh, Dark Side, and Dark Side was ready for him, mm-hmm. and Molly walked him and all that stuff, and they eventually beat Dark Side. But you know what happened? He's like, "Yo, Flash, go run again." That's basically mm-hmm. what he, he I, ran, I, I, he changed the whole universe again. That shit whack, man. I will agree in that in that in that aspect. Yes, that was whack. You know what I mean? I didn't I didn't appreciate how they had to have Flash set the battery. But if you're a DC reader or whatever, you know that this has happened at least three times. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. This is just the first time it's going to be done in the movie. So oh, I respect yeah. it. Uh, Marvel pretty much took the formula and used it before DC could. So that's kind of unfortunate because now people are going to look at it like, oh, yeah, I was just doing what Marvel did. And it's like, no, 
DC well, been see, D- Mar- well, see, Marvel isn't resetting the board. DC right. is using it to reset the board. So, so, so it's different. Marvel is just exploring the multiverse. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's yeah. going to explore the multiverse in his film, but then at the end of it, it's going to be so tragic that he has to run and basically reset everything. I'm kind of interested that he said we're going to get um, Sh- Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Um, did he say Aquaman comes before Flash? So oh, wait a minute. So he said Shazam, Flash resets everything. Then we get Aquaman in, in Blue Beetle. So are they part of this new continuity or are they part yeah, of it? I, I from what I understood, I thought Fresh, I don't know if you got the list of like the, the miracle order, how you want to do it, but I thought the flash had to happen before all that other stuff. Personally. No, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna happen. So that's what he said. He said we got Shazam Fury to the gods, then we've got um what is it, uh Flashpoint, and then after that we've got Aquaman and Blue Beetle. But he specifically said Flashpoint resets everything. Right. And he said he likes Blue Beetle. So I'm assuming that he's going to continue on into this new universe. And it looks like Aquaman is staying as well. And it's going to be a sequel, apparently. Now, that that's going to be curious to how they pull that off. Uh I do I do believe that with the with the uh with the flashpoint resetting the battery everything you can't bring back Momoa it's got to be a new all that's got to be new right that's how I feel about it I don't know about you guys um you know I, I like Momoa in the role so I I'm, I'm all for it man you know Who's yeah good? all right so looking at this right all right so yeah the flash should do it the one thing I do like and call me a hater if you if you like but He's not he's not making cyborg like the center of the damn DCU, which is great for me because I just don't believe in cyborg that much. I just really didn't like the attention he was getting. And I hate to even say something like that on Black History Month, but <laughs> I, just, I just didn't buy it. I just didn't buy it at all. I'm sorry, Internet. So Blue Beetle is more of a, a character I could buy because Blue Beetle's character and his powers and all that are so mysterious. So, and you know, just grandiose. I mean, yeah, I could see him picturing, picture him doing a lot of the stuff. I'm not but a I real get- big fan of Blue Beetle. I don't know what it is. A sentient scarab from a, a, a alien race. I don't know about that one. Y- yeah. Hey, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I, I'm I, just I'm wondering what this tone of this go, uh, booster gold is going to be. I'm, I'm I'm guessing that it's going to be as silly as like Peacemaker and, and probably a little bit gory. Maybe I, I don't know. It has I'm kind of excited silly. to see that. It has to be silly because he's a kooky character. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. got to be silly. I mean, anytime I think of booster gold, I think of the the Molly whopping that uh, the Doomsday gave him. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I, that'll never get out of my head. So. I don't think the movie is going to be too much better or from a serious aspect. It's great. These projects are popping, but at some point there got to be some names attached to them. I think, mm-hmm. I think, I think at some point you got to put some names behind these people that will store up even more interest. Um, the authority you, okay, you got, to, bro. is, is the casual fresh message is the casual going to go watch the authority. If it's just a bunch of dudes and British actors, we never heard of, you know what though? The Helmsworth, right? He was an unknown guy, really, for the most uh, part. What project? Which one? Uh, the Thor guy, Thor. He was oh. he was an unknown guy before he became big with Thor. Same thing with my man's uh, my man. I don't agree with that. Uh, I, 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 I don't agree with that. Marvel took a bunch of guys who had high potential. They took guys. I mean, who and it, yeah, like, and they know. made them, and they made them superstars. You know, yeah. uh, but the thing is, a lot of these big name artists. And movie stars have already been like, you know, taken by Marvel. You know what I'm saying? So, I know, I know who were my top pick for like uh, uh, John Stewart would be. It would be old boy Trevante Rhodes, Who's that? old boy from Bird Box. Yeah, it's the producer man, you have to pull him up. <laughs> I'm about to say like, I'm like, yep. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, Fresh. I thought he was about to say uh Bokeem Woodbine. I was about to, I was about to say no, I was like, yes. I was thinking that too. <laughs> Bokeem should become all shooter. he got, all he got is guns. <laughs> I don't even know if he got that, bro. Like <laughs> he 
He just got being a dark skinned brother that bust ball. That's all his power is. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. I never seen this guy. Oh, he was in Mike. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was Mike Tyson. Who we talk? Who we looking at? This guy right here. He played Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. You say for Hal Jordan? I mean, no, uh, for John Stewart. Yeah, John Stewart. Oh yeah, he, he'd be a crazy pick for Hal Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> he would piss a lot of people off <laughs> instantly. Oh no, and that'd be sweet though. They made Hal Jordan a black man, made John Stewart a white man. I mean, what could you what could you honestly say? Just make them both black. You know, right? The whole Green Lantern Corps, a bunch of, bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, nobody. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, Getting blackballed in China everywhere. Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't see that. I, I get I, I agree with there's a bunch of new cats out here that could take some roles and, and, and surprise some people. Oh, yeah. But um when when you already say I'm getting rid of guys like Cavill and things like that, I mean we, we I mean, you know, I, I don't know, man. You got rid of the biggest superstar at the time right now. You know what I'm saying? So and to well, be fair, I mean, you know, they could bring him back. He could he could even be Apollo. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he would want to to be a uh, Superman or derivative. It's almost like a you know a slap in the face. But I was about to say, yeah. I think I think he's done. He's like, oh, okay, y'all no, yeah. yeah. my whole project to do this. Yeah, the Rock plays the Rock. All right? um, we all know this. And any any film that he gets in, he's going to be the Rock. He's not going to be Apollo. He's going to be the Rock. You know what um, I'm saying? So no, he's, he's not Cavill going to be those, in this one. Oh, and Cavill. Oh, you might as well forget about it. He's done, yeah. man. Because you, 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 but you know, yeah, yeah. But here's here's the thing that Warner Brothers has to go a long way to make the you know make it make it right with the actors, man. Because you know some of these roles can be um, these can be career makers for them, right? But would you want to stake your reputation when they've got just such a horrible you know track record of treating the actors like shit and oh come back for this and oh no we're gonna cut all your scenes out you 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 out and you know and just just completely just shitting on the actors man would you what kind of names can they actually like draw there to make going to the theater more appetizing for the general audience you know what I'm saying? I don't really feel like they can get a lot of big names. Maybe Gunn can pull a lot of Guardian actors. And that's one thing I don't want to see. I don't want to see a bunch of Marvel cats. I feel like the the, the, the blood the blood feud is too strong. You know, I'm willing to accept Gunn. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Marvel been shitting on us for so long, bro. You know, I, I just want to win without a lot of those actors. I don't want to see Hemsworth <laughs> over here. Uh, yeah, I don't I'm, really. I'm, I'm, I don't know about I'm, Pratt. I don't. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to see them over here, bro. Nah, it, it, but you've been, you been shitting on us. <laughs> you know they've been shitting on us for a long time, man. They've been shitting on my team for a long time, man. I got this DC jersey on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they've been shitting on us so long. The blood feud is just, you know, we can't go back, man. It's a hundred <laughs> years mean, of infighting, man. It's can't go, can't go back, can't forgive them. Now, hopefully, this whole thing sticks to the plan, and in two years, James Dunn Gunn don't get caught up in some kind of scandal, and they got to remove him, and not a whole plan's done. You know what I mean? That that's some typical DC nonsense. So, yeah. I hope that he's like, because uh, w- with Marvel, it's the actual Marvel Comics guy that's running the show. It wasn't just you know one guy. So, I, I mean, DC, you got I, Peter Safran. I mean, you don't really, you don't, we don't even talk or hear nothing from him. Mm-hmm. But I am a little concerned about Gunn's track record, man. Um, what I was he looking at a lot of those, some of those older tweets and shit. Yeah. Really looking at them recently, I'm like, man, this shit is some wild, dark shit. You know what I'm saying? You still ain't like, deleted them, huh? I still ain't like, deleted them, man. It's just like my R. Kelly track, you know, you know my R. Kelly tracks, man. You know, it's like, damn, you know, it's fucked up, but you know, I still love Kells. <laughs> <laughs> you are the villain. Shit. You are. <laughs> Go did uh, race. Uh... He did uh, get rid of them, but uh, mm-hmm. they are pretty wild. Hold on, because you know somebody actually clipped them. He of said some wild, wild things. I see right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. And all, yeah. and all it's gonna Those take pictures. is one billion dollar venture. 
Expendables was so manly. I F the blank out of a little. Oh, no. <laughs> First tweet. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know, you know, and this is the guy that they hired. It's like, fuck. Laughter is the best medicine. That's why I laugh at people with AIDS. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't want to put that in the air, but it just made me think like, hey, man, stuff can always go left. I like it when little boys. T- oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> I don't even want to read this stuff out loud, man. She bro. Just, it's a lot of them, bro. It's like they keep going. I, I'm doing a big Hollywood film. But here's the thing. So Marvel hired them and kept them around. So I yeah. don't know. You know, so and I those guess pictures of him with that, with the, with the, at that party, with the, the kid thing. You know, can't we can't really use the p word. Mm. And you know, I'm like, damn, just mm. this guy right here, man. It's like fuck, but I love DC though. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> fucked up. Uh, yeah. He, uh, he, talk, he talks that uh, great a lot. He, he's got a lot of R word in there. I don't. First yeah, time. man. Wow, he's like jerk off crack. What? How old was? How old is he? He looked pretty damn old. So you can't even say I was like fifteen. Nah. How old is this guy? Fifty six. So this was a 50. lot of shit, man. I didn't know it was this much, man. Damn. Yeah. He was yeah, well. This guy's a fucking animal, man. Yeah. No. I burnt my damn. tongue on an enchilada. Mexicans. Wow. Listen, he was well into his 30s writing this stuff. I really, obviously, I don't know if it, it hasn't bitten him yet, but it. who knows? Oh, it, it did bite him. I mean, that's the reason why he ended up over at DC writing The Peacemaker. You know what I'm saying? Because these tweets came out and, you know, did such damage to him that he had to let him go. But then well, they ended up, back to write they a ended up bringing him back because yeah. of how great the Guardians was. So we wouldn't have him over here at DC if not for these horrible tweets. Hey, you well, know? do not be surprised if his first his first real venture really does numbers and puts something to intimidate Marvel. Then all of a sudden, these tweets come right back into play somewhere. Like, oh, oh, hey, these like, tweets are still out there, man. I mean, the damage that could have been done has already been done. It's not. It's not like they can just, co- you know, retroactively bring them back. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know this. This new day and age. He survived me too, kind of. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know though. You he know, got canceled. He that. definitely got canceled. They, DC caught a lot of heat for bringing him over, and um, you know. We got the Suicide Squad and Peacemaker. Every you know, people love Peacemaker, so it's like a lot of these filmmakers are some closeted freaks, but uh, and not so closeted because everybody in 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 Hollywood knows it, man. You know, it's it's like they know about that shit. You know, those are terrible ass tweets, though, man. And it's not just tweets, man. I I don't know. You might stand behind that shit. That's what I'm saying. This was a 30 something year old man writing those tweets. Yeah. This was a 14 year old boy. Is in, in, in his apology, he said he liked to be a provocateur. So, we'll you see know, these are the type of cats when they make these kind of jokes in real life. You, 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 you don't really, you don't, you don't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, just going up yeah. the side of the room. Right, right. Yeah, he over there tripping. Right. Uh, We'll see. I mean, I'm not, I'm not wishing ill will on a man, but I'm just saying that stuff's out there. So you don't consider it. If this thing starts bombing, especially if this thing starts bombing and, and not doing what they want, don't be surprised. I think it's going to be a lot of uh, Snyder um, tards that, you know, you know, as what much as a bad Snyder, Snyder tards, oh, 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 oh. you know, they're going to be trying to, you know, because they're not getting their way instead of understanding that this is bigger than, you know, Snyder. You know, you just supporting your brand. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. I want DC to win. I want them to get the respect that Marvel does. As much as I love Marvel, um, I love DC. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if you're a true fan of the medium, you want to see them both win. It's, uh, this is not your sports team. This is this is a medium. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see 
these characters done right. I want to see them get the, the love and respect that Marvel does. That's all it is for me. I dig that. Long as long, I think we got to get some good actors to set this thing really off. If you you know, mm-hmm. if they can find yeah. their RDJ to get this thing really popping, you know, yeah. find an actor that's on the downslide and say, "Hey, man, here's your chance to turn it all around." If they could when do they, that, when they do that casting for the big for the for the Trinity, that's what's going to set the tone. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Once they announce who the new Superman is, once they announce who the new Batman is, that's when everything is going to start start to kind of really solidify. That's shit like two years from now, though, man. So I think it's already in the works. Yeah. I think by the time you hear one of these other movies, you're gonna hear it because he says Superman is dropping in uh, mid 2025, mm-hmm. and he ain't even finished the script or whatever. Yeah, he's fast tracking that shit. Yeah, you got You you gonna? He's probably already got people in mind, but mm-hmm. he just hasn't announced it yet. So you, you he like to work him. with a lot of his friends. That's why I'm kind of worried about him bringing a lot of Marvel cats mm-hmm. over here. You don't want to see Dave Batista, huh? I don't want to see Dave Batista as Superman. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> He'd be perfect in the role. I don't know if he would. I don't know. I like Batista. I don't know about Superman. No, Batista as Superman and John Wick as Batman. <laughs> Go on, fresh. All my, all my gays. Uh, but again, we appreciate you guys tuning in, listening. You know, whatever you do, soaking in the basement protagonist. We love some feedback from you. Where do you think this whole James Gunn project is going to end up? Are they eventually going to top Marvel or is there always going to be battle for number two for them? You know what I mean? That's what I'm curious to see. Obviously, Will's rooting for the uh, the underdog here. I just want to see a good game. I just want to see a good match. Mm-hmm. So why don't you uh, let us know what you guys think out there in the internet world and we'll go from there. Base protagonist. Peace. Peace.